Hi. Um, I'll be talking about compassion, uh, just as Pastor said. I'll just go straight into it. Um, can you go to the next slide, please? For those of you who don't know what compassion exactly is, I'll give you a brief explanation of it. So Compassion is a child sponsorship organization that releases children, young children, from physical, emotional, and spiritual poverty. And they do that by leading them to God and letting them know that God loves them, actually. Um, their circumstances, their parents, their families, their people around them, the people around them, they tell them that they're worthless. They're unlovable and they're dirty kids that don't deserve any love, um, any future, or any hope. But Compassion believes that they can be saved from this kind of, um, these lies, and they do that by showing them Jesus' love. And the way to show these, this love is basically through people like us, Stemmers, the sponsors. Yay! <laughs> So in, in light of um, what we'll be doing as a church, I came up with some important points that I want you to keep in mind. Uh, can you go to the next slide? Okay, so this is Emmanuel. This is the kid that I've been sponsoring for about a year um, through Compassion. And throughout the year that I sponsored him, there's this one important thing that I realized, and it's that Compassion is all about Compassion. Um, it's, it sounds kind of obvious like, and weird, but then what I'm trying to say is that without the heart to share with Emmanuel's pain and with his suffering and the heart to empathize, em empathize with him, not sympathize him, then my sponsorship wouldn't have been any different than, say, sending donations to the Red Cross or, the Un or UNICEF or whatever. It would have been no different. Compassion allows you guys to um, establish a one-on-one -on -one intimate relationship with one child. And you do that by exchanging letters, praying for them, um, asking how their day was, asking if they're sick, asking, talking about their parents, uh, talking about their families, friends at the center, at school, and talking about their relationship with God. Um, so without these things that I just mentioned, um, I can say, I can confidently say that you would be missing about 99% of all the amazing experiences you can have, and both you and your child can have through compassion. For Emmanuel, um, I told him, I always tell him that I love him, that I miss him, that I'm praying for him. And because of that, um, he knows that he's loved by me. And most importantly, he knows that he's loved by God. Another thing that compassion does is it gives you the opportunity to see a child grow in, um, and grow in faith and grow in Christ. And you learn from that, actually, no matter how old you, older you are than that child. I'll give you an example. Um, by the way, these are some letters that, like, this is what you'll get if you start sponsoring someone, like, pretty letter and pretty drawings. Yeah. Um, I'll read you one thing that Emmanuel said right after I started sponsoring him. I like toys so much, and I play with my friends. Do you also like toys as I do? Pray to God to give me many toys. <laughs> That's what he said. Um, yeah, he is. Um, but the thing is that this is what a normal, any other little kid would say, right? And I was, ex I was totally expecting that. It's not anything different like, or beyond what I was expecting. But the thing is, as we began to exchange more letters, and as we began to talk to each other and build and build each other in faith, I started to see him write things like, I asked Jesus to take care of you, or I asked him to keep you and bless you. Also, um, later on, he started talking about how he's going to church every week, which a lot of us do, right? <laughs> and, and how he's learning so many things about Jesus and at church and in Bible study. Uh, one thing that I want to share with you that, um, that really moved me, it's pretty short. This is one of the most recent letters, and he said that, I will pray for you to be grateful to God. He will be with you. Um, when I read this, uh, I could really feel the sincerity in his heart. The fact that God is with me is such a trite saying, you know, like everyone says that God will be with you. But then with him, it's just, I could feel it, that he had faith in the, with the, fa in the fact that he's really going to keep me and that he's really going to pray for me. Um, I just was so blessed by this, and what I want to say is I want you guys to experience that same blessings through what we're doing um, as a church and start talking with them and building a relationship with them. Uh, now the, next. Uh, the last thing that I'd like to mention is that letters are so important. Letters are really, really important. And the reason is 
they need, these children need guidance in things that we've never needed guidance for, like knowing that you're loved. It's so obvious for us, right? Like our parents tell us that we lo they love us. Our pastor tells us that they love us. We t tell each other that we love each other, right? But then these kids don't hear that when they grow up. They hear, you're worthless. Go to your whatever and get some money. Like, I want to get some money out of you. And that becomes their daily life. And they start re like thinking, oh, am I really worthless? Am I really unlovable and dirty? Um, I think letters are the only way to show, to, to see how God's working in their lives and to give that kind of help and guidance in letting them grow in Christ. They, and one thing that I really want to mention is that they really like it when they get letters from their sponsors. Like, and the same, go, the same thing goes for the opposite. They really get sad if they don't get it. Like, um, I heard one story about how one guy, when he was um, in Compassion, and one of the first sponsors or second sponsors, um, he didn't send any letters to him for the whole time that he, they sponsored him. And he started thinking, like, is it because I'm ugly? Like, he started really believing that it's because he's ugly and he's not, like, he's doing something wrong. He thought it was because some, of something he, that he said. And he started blaming himself and hating himself for that. And that's what you do when you don't send letters to your children. Um, it actually gives the reverse effect, I think, um, that compassion is supposed to give. They, that basically tells you, all, that makes them think that it's because of them. And they start blaming themselves and hating themselves for that. So, yeah, that's um, the thing. And... For in my in my opinion, uh, if you start writing a lot of letters, then they'll understand that this sponsor that I have isn't just a random girl or guy in this random rich country who's sending like forty five thousand every month and not even talking to me. They start seeing that there is actual is an actual person that he like he loves me and he's praying for me and he's like my dad, my mom, my friend, my sister and brother. So you get to experience that kind of um, love and encouragement through each other, I think. Yeah. So I hope you got something out of this. I'm sorry. Yeah, if it wasn't clear. <laughs> Thank you.